Uh, today I'm uh, gonna check out the One Cam. It's it's a FPV camera from uh, SecurityCamera2000.com. I was intrigued by this because it's a CCD camera. Uh, that's uh, CCD is uh, uh, I believe it's coupled charge coupled device, and it's what you can find in your um, camcorders and whatnot. So it's a higher quality, higher grade um, camera than the regular CMOS. I basically substituted the uh, the one cam over there um, over and using the uh, the GoPro mount, which fits there perfectly. I just used uh, a little um, styrofoam that cut it out and made it fit. It comes with all the wires um, in there. Of course, I found out that the run cam on uh, the camera takes 12 volts, which doesn't really, it's not compatible with the immersion um, uh, video transmitter, which emits or puts out about uh, 5 volts. Um, actually, this one, I think it does about, uh, it can take 9 to 12, but still two weeks. So what I decided to do is buy a, uh, a step up voltage regulator connect that to my video transmitter to that and basically it steps up or uh, brings up the voltage coming from the um, from the video transmitter to the camera I guess you could bypass that and just connect the camera straight uh, from the battery but I decided to just make it all come out of the video transmitter and do it this way so I'm gonna try to give this a shot right now and uh, fly it and see what kind of quality I can get after running about uh, five batteries uh, through my uh, one cam test today I could uh, safely say that this um, little camera here the FPV camera from uh, camera security security camera 2000 is worth the uh, the $45 uh, that it's uh, that is marked. First of all, the uh, 350QX felt a lot more uh, lighter, of course, without the GoPro. Um, very, uh, very balanced, and also the um, it's more agile. So I wasn't scared about putting um, throttle, pitch forward, back, and all that stuff because uh, it does feel pretty agile because of the lightweight. The quality, it's clear. The quality is almost almost comparable to the uh, the GoPro if not slightly better um, I like the the colors that I get from this um, run cam as well as the uh, the details I get from it what I really like about the run cam is the ability to tweak the, uh, the different video aspect um, and it has a nice OSD system that um, basically allows me to change to change the the white balance and um, all different exposures at the same time uh, it also had the digital wide dynamic range and also digital noise reduction which basically um, the camera switches from light to dark pretty fast so you don't get that big um, quick glare when you're making turns or uh, quick exposure to the sun or dark area so um, if I were you, I would uh, check one out if you could afford it. It's worth the, uh, the investment um, if you want to do some uh, high quality FPV. All right, um, that's about it for me right now uh, for Blue Flyer TV. Be safe, fly safe, and I'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.